everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. Um, so if you can't already tell by the title of the video, today I'm going to be doing another haul which is very exciting. Um, last week I did my Shein haul which went down really well. Um, I will leave that link below in case you guys want to check it out. Um, however, today's video I'm going to be doing a autumn winter coat haul um, and like a styling type video. Now before we get started, this is a judgement free zone. Um, and I own a lot of coats, so no judging please, um, like a lot of coats, and I didn't bring all of them to university with me, I actually only have a selection of maybe like nine, I have at least double of that back home. Coats and boots are my one thing that I have a lot of, because I just find them the easiest thing to like style and spice up an outfit, so no judging, <laughs> um, but I did find it very hard to like narrow it down to like six, because I was like, I don't want to do too many. Um, so yeah, basically narrowed it down to a few of my favourite autumn winter coats and I thought I would show you guys, haul them to you guys um, and give you some styling ideas for them as we are now getting into the colder months. I just flipped hair in my eye. Um, anyway, so yeah, without further ado, we're going to get straight on into the video. Also, if you are new around here, please do make sure you subscribe and stick around for future uploads. I upload every Sunday. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I want to say. Also, like I said, I will be styling these coats and like showing you how I would wear them. However, if you want more styling ideas, head on over to my Instagram, which I'll leave on the screen now, um, as I post like daily style on my fashion Instagram. So, I think that's everything that I want to say. Also, please ignore the display that I have going up on my wall over here. Um, I'm currently at the start of a new project, so all of my ideas are going up on my wall. I say all of them, there's a very small selection there. Um, but yeah, anyway, that said, let's get straight on into the video. Okay, so I mentioned in my Shein haul my love for like teddy bear coats. Um, I just love wearing them in winter, they're just so nice and snuggly and warm. So yeah, the first one is this brown teddy bear coat, which again is from Shein. Um, it is about, I don't know how long I would say it is, I guess it kind of like just below the bum, maybe a bit longer. I would say it stops just before the knee. Um, but yeah, it's just this really nice, long, big, snuggly brown. Um, teddy bear coat. I find teddy bear coats so easy to style in winter. You can literally just like chuck on a big knitted jumper underneath and you're literally like good to go. Um, super easy to style and very very warm. But yeah this might just be one of my favourite coats this winter. I didn't actually own a teddy bear coat in this colour until very recently and now I have one. I feel like my coat wardrobe coat selection is complete. Um, although I'll probably be taking that back when I go and buy another coat next week but we move. Anyway, yeah, this is the first coat, um, and I think this is about £30, I'm not entirely sure. I will leave all of the links down below in case you guys do want any of them. Um, and also anything from Shein, like this coat, um, has been gifted to me, and you can use 15 Han if you want anything from Shein, because it will get you some money off. So yeah, coat number one, very warm and snuggly, and I will show you how I style that now. Okay, so this is coat number one. As you can see, well, I don't know if you can see, but it does come just like below the knee. Um, it's nice and long. It does up as well with two buttons. Not that I really wear my coats done up, which probably defeats the whole point of actually having a coat. Um, but yeah, I really like how this looks. I've just got it tucked on with like my black um, padded vest, my white ripped jeans, and my Doc Martens, just the churches. Um, and yeah, just a really quick and easy outfit to chuck on and also really nice and snuggly. Um, and before we go any further, I do apologise for the background that is going to be appearing in these try-on clips. I have a very small university room and there is literally nothing I can do apart from film in front of a really ugly background um, until I'm back home. So yeah, I apologise for that. But yeah, this is coat number one and as you can see, it's just like a really nice teddy bear material. Really nice and cosy. Um, and yeah. And then coat number two, I would say it's more of a jacket, but I would say it's one of my favourite jackets in my wardrobe at the moment. Um, so this second coat, again, is from Shein. Um, these are the only two things that are from Shein. Um, and it's this beautiful leather stone or natural beige. <laughs> I've just said like three colours at once. It's this really nice like beigey type leather jacket or jacket. Um, and I'm obsessed with it. I literally have not taken it off since I got it. I would say it isn't the warmest coat, so it's probably more of like an autumny type coat than it is a winter coat. Um, however, it's just beautiful. Like I literally love it. Um, and yeah, just a jacket. It's got nice big pockets. And whenever I wear this, I feel really cool. Um, and I don't actually own anything else like this. So this is like a one-off in my um, coat selection, which is rare. But yeah, it's a really pretty colour. looks really nice on and really, again, really easy to style. I think it helps it. It's a bit more of a neutral colour. Um, because neutral is just much more easier to wear, I guess. Um, but yeah, can't quite remember the price of it, but like I say, everything will be linked below anyway. 
Um, but yeah, that is coat number two. I also feel like a leather jacket or a leather coat of some sort is like a staple in every girl's wardrobe. Um, and I finally have mine. It's taken me 21 years. I've never owned anything really leather um, before now. I would say, I say leather, it's pleather, like it's not real leather. Um, but yeah, coat number two. So this is the leather jacket, which like I said before, I absolutely love. It perfectly matches the boots. I don't know if you can see like how much the camera's picking up, um, but the color is literally identical. Um, and I just paired this with my leather leggings and again, just a plain black top. Um, I literally love how easy this is to style. It's such a like perfect color to chuck on with anything. It does up at the front as well, which is really nice. Um, it's like I say, it's not very thick, but it's perfect for like autumn and like layering. I can easily fit like a big uh, jumper on underneath this. And I really like this outfit. I think it looks so cool. I literally love it. And I think this might just be one of my like favorite autumn outfits. I just love the way it looks. Um, and I also love how effortless it is. Like it's so quick to just chuck on um, and go out, which is like a running theme throughout all of my videos. If it's quick and easy, I'm gonna be wearing it. <laughs> Now, coat number three is the snuggliest thing ever. So, <laughs> if I can show you guys, I feel like it's really hard to show coats on cameras because there's just not enough room. Um, but yeah, coat number two is this again, very neutral, beigey type colour, um, aviator jacket, and this is from H&M. Um, now, I have a confession. I actually have this in black as well, back home, home, not at uni. Um, and I literally love it. I wear both of them so much, um, mainly because they're so warm and snuggly. So the thing that I love about both of these, the black and the um, nude, is that they are entirely um, fur lined. You know with some aviator jackets you have just the collar bit which is um, fur. With this one it's literally fur the whole way through, like the whole way, the body, down the arms, like everything is fur. Um, so it's super snuggly and warm. I feel like I'm doing a really botched job of showing you what this looks like. It will look better in the try-on clip when I show you guys. Um, but yeah, it's just got like a fold-over collar um, and it's also got fur at the sleeves as well because it's really easy to sew, really neutral colour um, and it's just so warm. I actually took this with me to Amsterdam at the start of the year and if you've ever been to Amsterdam in winter, you will know how cold it gets in Amsterdam um, and I literally wore this the whole trip um, and I was super snuggly. My outfits in Amsterdam were so boring because I was so cold. I literally just wore this and like my boyfriend's hoodie the whole time. Um, but yeah, that is coat number two and possibly one of my favorites and the one that gets the most wear. Yeah, I think I got this one in a size small. Um, I have the black one in an extra small and I find that I struggle to put like a big jumper underneath. However, with this one, because I sized up, um, I can. So I would suggest that if you want something that you can like layer up on underneath, go a size up um, for sure. So this is the H&M fur coat. I, I really, really love the colour of this, like I said. And again, it's fur lined on the inside, which I absolutely love. Um, and it's like that right the way through. I have a super chunky um, knitted jumper on and I can still get the coat on, which is what I love. Um, and yeah, this is just a super snuggly outfit. I'll probably chuck a pair of heeled boots on with this. Uh, again, it does have a zip that does go up, but like I said, don't really do my jackets up, which defeats the whole point of having a coat. Um, and yeah, this one does have pockets, luckily. Oh my god, and the pockets are fur lined as well. What more could I want? Um, but yeah, super snuggly jacket, super snuggly outfit, and you can see why I have this in multiple colours because <laughs> it's just so easy to wear and so cosy. So then coat number three, I'm afraid, is another teddy bear coat, but again, it's one of my favourites, so I feel like I couldn't just like not show you guys. Um, now, I'm not actually sure if this one is still in stock because um, I got it in a sale at the start of the year. However, I will find one very similar and link it down below because I'm pretty sure most high street stores or even online stores will have a coat like this. Um, so it's just another teddy bear coat. It's a bit shorter than the other one um, and it's in this lovely cream colour. Um, this one literally stops at the like bum area and um, like it just covers my bum. Um, but yeah, really lovely cream colour. When I bought this in, I think it was like, I want to say February maybe, because it was, I was with my mum when I bought it, um, and I was like, I need it, I just need it. Um, although my mum was like, Hannah, you definitely don't need any more coats, but I did. Um, but yeah, so this one is from... It's a brand called Betty K London and I actually got it from a department store um, which was closing down so they had like a massive sale on and it was only like, I want to say like 20 or 30 quid reduced down from like 60 or 70 so I was like, I'm having you. She's got this collar on it. Um, 
and yeah very again very easy to style because it's so neutral um, and it's so nice and thick and I got it in a size so I got it in a size 10 I'm normally a size 6 but I was like I want it oversized because I prefer teddy coats when they're a bit more oversized um, and again winter coats I like to be able to chuck a big chunky knit underneath um, and not feel like constricted I guess um, so which is why I sized up it was also the only size left and I was like I really want you but you're not in my size um, so I bought it anyway I feel like that just sums up my personality like if there's something there but it's not in my size I'm still gonna buy it and make it work um, but yeah that is coat number four I get so much wear out of this it's, it's probably one of my most worn coats I'm saying that about all of them um, but yeah I'll show you how I styled that so this is the second teddy bear coat and it's probably the coat that I get the most wear out of because it's just the one that I can reach for and it goes with everything, really don't have to think about styling it. Here I've literally just got it on with a pair of very oversized joggers which is possibly my favourite trend of 2020, obviously where lockdown happened every shop store whatever had to adapt to the new way of life and wow so much loungewear and i cannot tell you how glad i am that oversized joggers are now just incorporated into everyone's like street style and day style i've just got it paired with a very big pair of joggers and just a again it's that bodysuit but i've just literally rolled it up as you can probably see um into a little crop top um but yeah really like this outfit i'll probably chuck it on with my pink converse um and yeah this is just a really casual sunday lounging around outfit taking the dogs for a walk those kind of vibes um but yeah this is so comfy so cozy definitely the comfiest outfit of them all um and yeah it basically matches the trackies which i love it's easy to style like i say because it's cream it will literally go with anything again it's much like the brown teddy bear one just in cream because there is a running theme of me having the same coat in multiple colors and i have no shame <laughs> then coat number what coat are we on four five i don't know anyway coat number five i think is this lovely fairy bobby jacket i love this it is so soft unfortunately it's not lined like furry on the inside it's just like a normal cottony type material on the inside but it's just this furry bomber jacket this is from topshop uh yeah from topshop and i believe you can get it in different colors as well i think they have a white and black and maybe a dusty pink color um but i got it in this like teddy bear colour. The first time I wore it my boyfriend said that I look like Winnie the Pooh um, and now when I wear it that is all I can see like I cannot unsee it. You'll see what I mean when I try it on. Um, but yeah really like this. Very cozy and it's so nice and soft. I literally love it. Um, and it's got a hood as well. Literally none of the coats I've shown have hoods. Um, it shows how practical I am. But yeah this one's got a hood as well. Um, and yeah just a really nice short bomber jacket. It comes down to like waist length i would say um and it also does up it's just got a zip down the front too um and yeah i got this in a size small um again slightly oversized if you want it like true to size i would get your like an actual size like i would have got an extra small however i got a small so that i can pop stuff like underneath it um but yeah again i would say this is very like winter i would say this is more autumn um as it's not like really really thick uh, but yeah, it will definitely keep you warm if you wear it. <laughs> so, do you see what I mean when I say I look a little bit like Winnie the Pooh, like kind of getting those vibes with this jacket? Um, but it is so fluffy. Like, can you see how fluffy it is? I'm fully obsessed. I literally love it. It's like wearing a blanket outside, and I just wish that it was like it on the inside because, like I say, the inside is just like a normal material with not the fur. Um, but yeah, it's still super snuggly. It's actually really thick. My one thing is that it doesn't have pockets and I hate not having pockets because in the winter when my hands get cold, I always like just, obviously that's what I use pockets for, tuck my hands in them. Um, however, this doesn't have any. Um, but yeah, apart from that, really love it. It's quite a short length, as you can see, it literally comes to like my waist and that is it. Um, but yeah, here is my Winnie the Pooh jacket, absolutely love it. Um, super easy to just chuck on. I've just chucked it on with my white Air Force Ones, my basic white girl shoes, uh, my leather leggings, and again, just the same plain black top. This is a running theme again. I also think I really want this in like, I think they do it in pink. I think I said they did it in pink, and I kind of really want it in pink because I have a thing with coats, and when I have it in one colour and I do it in other colours, I want it in other colours as well, so <laughs> that'll probably happen at some point. Um, but for now, I've just got this like teddy bear colour, which I absolutely love. And then the last coat that I have for you guys is this really beautiful 
there's no way that I'm going to be able to show you this all on camera but it's this really lovely waterfall jacket um, that literally comes all the way down to like my calves it's very long um, but yeah it's just got this really lovely I think it's called waterfall detailing down at the front um, and again it's this really lovely beige colour I feel like they have a running theme here with like beige and nude coloured coats but they're the, they're the easiest to style um, but yeah this one isn't very thick again probably more of an autumn coat or if you layer up underneath in winter um, but yeah this one is from a brand called Fem, Femlux Finery I think that's how you say it I'm pretty sure I got it in the smallest size that they had because I knew this was going to be big on me um, and I'm also not that tall so I was like the bigger size I get surely the longer it's going to be as well um, so I was like I'll get my size in this one so I got an extra small um, and it's also got this lovely like tie detailing around it as well so you can do it up at the front kind of gives me like dressing gown vibes but I'm here for it because I spend so much time in my dressing gown anyway if I can wear something that resembles it outside I'm gonna um but yeah that is coat number six and I feel like you'll be able to see it much better when I like try it on for you guys um but yeah isn't the thickest material but again like just layer up underneath it and it can look really cool um and yeah so this is the waterfall coat and it's going to be so hard to actually show you the whole thing because it is so long and um, you can kind of see like the waterfall detailing and this goes right down to like my calf like I said in the video um and again it isn't it isn't incredibly thick but you can definitely layer up underneath it which I like um, and it's just this really beautiful beigey type colour really easy to style sometimes with coats you can either go really garish or you can really pull it back um, to neutral colours so that they're easier to style and not so much for statement which is exactly what this is um, and yeah it does tie up kind of like a dressing gown like this gives me major dressing gown vibes um, <laughs> which I probably wouldn't wear it like but yeah like I said you can't really get the full just a bit because the camera just isn't big enough. I'll have a picture of me in it or if I can find one on the model I'll pop it in here so you can kind of get a better feel for it and I've just paired this with like jeans and a bodysuit and I'll probably pair it with a pair of heels as well um like heeled boots if I was going out or something and yeah this is the waterfall coat absolutely love it like I say, it isn't massively thick, you would probably need to layer up underneath it if you were going out. But yeah, I also really like the vibe this gives, like, kind of classy, um, which I really like as well. Can't be a nice long jacket in winter. So, that concludes my, like, autumn winter coat haul for this year. Um, however, I do have a lot more coats left. So, if you guys, like, want a part two to this, let me know and I will be happy to do so. Um, because I like talking about coats because I have so many. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this like haul slash styling video type thing um it was really fun to film however like filming the try on clips is a challenge when you live on your own like let me tell you um but yeah i had great fun filming it i hope you guys enjoyed it too if you did please do give it a big thumbs up remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future uploads um and yeah like i said make sure you follow me over on instagram because i do like daily styling posts um and these coats are always going to be included because it's winter now um but yeah hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you again next week and I think that's all I want to say so I'll see you in my next video